learning headset. So it's pretty easy. You'll be walking along. Make sure you kind of close your legs. So, so he's taking the bump bump as a headset, not as a stop. And he's pretty good about it now. He's, he knows the rhythm. Bump bump, hand down. Bump bump, hand down. Bump bump, hand down. Okay, so you look nice. Your heels are right underneath you. Your heels are down, sitting square. Meaning you're not slouching. Nice and tall. Hands are even. Very nice. I looks good. Dean did a lot of dragging this morning, so the arena's yeah. so, so nice. Yep. Water in the morning. Maybe. For trail, it's not going to matter too much. Right. So what will happen is showmanship will be up in the indoor arena. Okay. As soon as you do your showmanship, because it's one at a time, come down here and do your trail. Back up and do your trail. Then when trail's all done with everybody, then we'll switch to the handy hunter. And then when that's taken down, then everyone can do the ranch and uh, versatility class. Good, so the horses look like they're moving nice. We've got a nice look about them. Good, good, keeping his head on track. <laughs> he likes a rubber neck. Another half on your freight. Piper riding a quarter pounder for the first time. She learned how he rubber necks. She did a very nice job on him. Good, Gabby. The heels are long. Eyes are forward. Okay. And then to have your elbows kind of follow with them. So when if their head goes down, up, down, up, down, up, your elbows go forward, back, forward, back. It's just a nice yes like that right. Very nice. Nice light connection. And then just to tighten it just a little bit and give a couple little bump bumps. See if you can start to come down nicer yet. Your elbow's gonna come along your side like you're gonna bump someone standing behind you. You're, yes, that. Yep, like you're gonna elbow someone who's standing right behind you. That way your arms and hands stay near your body, and when you bump, it won't tilt his head. You want to face his chin to go to his chest, not out to the side. All right, reverse, everybody. Nice. doing math problems yesterday. I think Brian and Grace love math. So we might have some more math problems. Uh, Brian, if every horse, not pony type, if every horse in this arena eats three types of supplements a day, figure out how many horses, each one gets three supplements, and those supplements cost two dollars each. Oh. All right. So kind of step one: how many horses are in here? Good. And if each one eats three supplements, how many total supplements? Yep. And then um, of those nine, the nine supplements cost two dollars each. How much am I going to spend? Very good. Eighteen dollars. 
Awesome. I know, no kidding. <laughs> Uh, Christy gets a harder one. No, we'll go to Grace and then we'll go to Grace. Okay. Grace, let's say that um, each critter that's wearing shoes in here, that shoe cost me $2. How much does it cost to put the shoes on in here? Let's figure out which ones have shoes. Figure that number first. And you can ask questions too. So you know yours, right? Yeah. Yep. And then what other? So think about Sherwin. Yeah, your name. No. What about Jojo? No. No shoes. Nope. <laughs> Guys, like I'm going in. <laughs> so no shoes for Sherwin. No shoes for Jojo. What about Quincy? <laughs> Two, for sure. And it better be on right now. And you know your own horse. What about Miss Anne Marie Sweet? Barefoot. Barefoot. All right, so you got to add up your shoes. How many shoes in here? Yep, and there's four of them, and it costs $2 each shoe. Two plus two plus two plus two. Four times two. Yeah, eight dollars. Very good. Gonna spend eight bucks on what's in this arena right now. Right on. Woohoo! All right, there's Christy. We're on to dewormer. Let's say that every animal in here is going to get dewormer. The ponies we can give a the, the two small, the one small pony, one small pony, we can give a half dose. The other ones are going to have a full dose at $10 each. And how much am I going to spend on my dewormer? What's that? $45. $45, Jojo, we can do a half dose with. Very good. Unfortunately, the $10 dewormer is out the window now. So the last time I looked at the Equimax, it's a whopping $18. I can't get it right now, so I'm waiting on it. And that's on back order. Yeah, it's an ivermectin posiquanto. That's the only one that kills tapeworms besides Quest. But Quest can cause issues, so I won't use Quest. So yeah. But yeah, I figured that's why, because it's, a, it's got ivermectin in it. Yeah, but I need posiquanto to kill off. And I don't know what the formula is. Um, let's see here, Miss Anne Marie. Um, let's say it costs twenty dollars to uh, to update the registry on the registered animals in this arena. How much am I got to spend to update the registry on the ones that are papers? Yep, 60 bucks. Because I don't actually have JoJo if you had one in hand. And then your guys don't have one in hand. Yeah. Quincy's I have. Dean's got ties. Sherwin's I have a copy of it. I don't technically have it in hand, but I have a copy of who he is. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Gabby needs a hard one. All right. Hoof supplement. We need hoof supplements. Or not supplements, uh, conditioner. Yeah. We're going to paint the conditioner on all the horses' hooves in here. And probably double on yours. But no, we'll just do a single coat on everybody. Cost a dollar each for each hoof. So how much am I going to spend on the hooves in this arena? Four, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. Yep. There you go. I didn't ask for four. Yeah. Uh, 
But we should do a double dose on Quincy. <laughs> yep. All right, everybody. New York Rock. We survived now. Brian, now, the well, one thing about English, stand on the outside leg. So see if you can figure that out. Outside leg. So the way to fix that, Brian, sit two beats, just once. Yes, now you're on the correct diagonal. Good job. Good. If you get a good snug knee, thigh, calf area when you're posting, that'll keep you steady. Yep, so then your feet won't bounce as much on the stirrups. Just kind of uh, have a good stretch. I could raise your stirrups one more if they are too long. You tell me what, what feels comfortable. Good, Chris, look at that. Low and low. If his head comes up any more than that after he's done coughing, <laughs> he'll probably put his head up so then you have to bump 